Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Experts report this almost every year, but this time they say it may really happen. A storm is on track to crash the big New Year's fireworks on the Las Vegas Strip. The glittering lights fireworks show at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway already canceled due to severe weather concerns. But first, tonight's forecast, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. So far, we're seeing cloudy but mild conditions, temps lingering in the 50s, with your rain chances creeping up overnight. Then on New Year's Eve, the winds pick up to around 20 miles per hour, and your highs peak to the 60s. The likelihood of a downpour spikes up to around 60 percent. By Saturday night, the brunt of it expected from 11 o'clock until 2 a.m. Sunday. More gusts and rain expected on our first day of 2023. With a wet week ahead, time to get your umbrellas out. In entertainment, Las Vegas is planning to close out 2022 with concerts, parties, and fireworks. America's Party 2023 will launch fireworks from the rooftops of eight resorts on the Strip, while celebrations are also planned at the Fremont Street Experience in Area 15. Review Journal's Renee Semmerauer has the list of events. That's right. For fireworks, of course, you can always depend on America's Party 2023. That's where the Las Vegas Strip is completely shut down and fireworks launch at midnight from rooftops of Aria, Caesars Palace, MGM Grand, Planet Hollywood Resort, The Strat, Treasure Island, The Venetian, and now Resorts World. Also at 9 p.m., fireworks will be displayed at Lake Las Vegas and the Plaza Hotel at midnight. If you'd rather party with world-class DJs, enjoy nightlife deals, drink specials and concerts, almost every hotel on the Strip to downtown, even Area 15 is hosting something. You can head to their websites for more information to find cover fees and or ticket prices. From the Killers playing at the Cosmopolitan, Chris Brown at Dre's, Adele at Caesars Palace, Bruno Mars at Park MGM, and the Roaring Twenties celebration in downtown, New Year's Eve 2022 is sure to be one to remember. If the strip fireworks do go off without any hiccups due to weather conditions, the Review Journal will bring them to you live on LVRJ.com and through our app. Here's a look at the rooftop of the Venetian as experts are prepping to ring in 2023 with a literal bang. Around 400,000 revelers are expected to crowd the strip this year, 100,000 more than last year. In more top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. If you're heading to Vegas or leaving for California later tonight to celebrate New Year's, plan for more traffic backups than usual. All week, NDOT cameras are showing miles and miles of cars filling I-15 near the California and Nevada state border. Lake Mead and the Colorado River are seeing a lot of change in 2022 with water levels reaching an alarming record and new regulations due to be implemented next year. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more on what's changed with Nevada's water. In 2022, we saw water levels at Lake Mead drop, exposing boats, bodily remains, and barrels with sometimes bodies in them, as was the case back in May of 2022, followed by more remains found that were later identified. But not all Lake Mead stories were about what was being found at Lake Mead, but rather what was missing, water. Lake Mead falling more than 27 feet before the start of the August monsoon season leading to officials concerned that Lake Mead could drop below its ability to generate hydropower at Hoover Dam by 2024. Another adjustment was the increasing of water fines in the Las Vegas Valley. Total water fines for 2022 in Henderson exceeding $800,000. And after the December meeting of the Colorado River Water Users Association, a new plan has been drawn up for the next year, decreasing water to California and adjusting to the new future of water in the American Southwest. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. North Las Vegas celebrates the graduation of its new fire department recruits. After completing an intense 20 week academy that includes 120 hours of emergency medical service training, firefighting, and hazardous materials training, 16 recruits officially joined the ranks this week. 
Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. Against the 49ers on Sunday, the team will be without defensive end Chandler Jones, linebacker Denzel Perryman, and cornerback Rock Yassin. Here's defensive end Clee Farrell talking about his expanded opportunity. It's a part of the game. You know, teams deal with injuries all throughout the year, and especially this late in the season. So, you know, regardless of the fact, I'm just excited for another opportunity to go out there and, and get a win with the team, man, especially one of the last home games in the, in the stadium this year. Sports brought to you by DNR House of Diamonds, luxury made affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. The UNLV men's basketball team, which is now 11-2, will host San Diego State in its Mountain West home opener. The showdown takes place on New Year's Eve at 1 p.m. at the Thomas and Mack Center. The Runnin' Rebels open conference play on Wednesday night with a 75-72 OT loss at San Jose State. Also on Saturday, the Golden Knights will look to bounce back into the win column as they face the Predators at noon at T-Mobile Arena. The Knights last played on Wednesday, losing to the Ducks in a shootout. In Business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada. Bank on accountability. Nevada sees another record year for gaming in 2022, beating 2021's record by 10.2%. The state's 459 licensed casinos reported gaming wins totaling $13.5 billion this year. Experts say the amount of dollars dropped into slot machines and table games can be attributed to Clark County and Las Vegas' ability to attract visitors through high-profile entertainment and sporting events. And talk about rolling in the dough. Meet Jeff Reeves from Colorado winning nearly half a million dollars in Vegas while working as a national finals rodeo clown. Officials say Reeves hit a royal flush playing three-card poker at Horseshoe Las Vegas on Thursday and plans to enjoy retirement now. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. As the year comes to a close, no one bet bigger in Vegas than Mattress Mac. Jim Mattress Mac McInvale lost $6.1 million in January on Alabama to win the college football playoff and $9.5 million in February on the Bengals to win the Super Bowl. In April, he won $12.2 million when Kansas won the NCAA men's basketball title to snap a $25 million losing streak. Stay tuned in 2023 as he currently has $3.5 million riding on the Houston Cougars to win the NCAA basketball title. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. Are masks a thing of the past? COVID numbers may be coming down, but experts say if you're parting it up this New Year's Eve, it may be a good idea to wear one. COVID has reportedly become milder and less likely to result in hospitalization. However, to keep this momentum going, experts say those at indoor crowded gatherings should wear a well-fitted, good quality mask, especially those with compromised immune systems. And may before go the traditional New Year's kiss. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. See you next year for more 7 at 7. Hope you have a fun-filled holiday. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.